What is internet piracy? Well, piracy is the practice of attacking and robbing ships at sea. But internet piracy, or illegal file sharing, is where another person's work is used or reproduced without their permission. The term piracy is coined a lot when referring to illegally downloading. But this is an outdated term from a time when people bought physical or virtual copies of music and videos illegally. Today, the term piracy refers to the act of freely downloading files that have been uploaded and shared online all over the world. So you download a few things, the odd album, maybe a movie or two. And when you got an evening free, why not get that new series or that show you like? You don't download that much. And anyway, there's plenty of people out there that pay for this stuff, so no harm is done. Right? While downloading one file may not feel like that much of a crime, the effect of millions of files being illegally downloaded all over the world is devastating to all the people who helped to create this media. This is Jeff. Jeff is a video editor who works for a small film and TV production company. He has normal aspirations, wants to pay off his mortgage, raise his children, and live a comfortable life. But one day, Jeff finds out that he can no longer work for this company as due to the increase in piracy and loss in profits, they can no longer afford to keep him on. Now Jeff is unemployed and will join the thousands of other unemployed in the creative industries. This is the impact of illegal downloading. In fact, $2.7 billion of workers' earnings are lost in the US each year due to piracy. The loss of these earnings leads to the loss of 71,060 jobs in the creative industries every year. The money lost isn't necessarily going to shut down the whole company, and it's unlikely that the managers and directors being paid the most will be affected. It's the people with the normal jobs and the normal salaries that get pay cuts and job losses. These are the makeup artists, costume designers, lighting crews, sound engineers, software engineers, even box office staff that you can often see in the long list of credits at the end of the movies you love. So what can you do about it? Well, of course, you could start putting money into the industry by actually buying films, shows, and music from legitimate retailers. There are free catch-up and on-demand services for watching TV shows that you might have missed. There are also some extremely popular TV, film, and music streaming sites that have a huge library of content for a monthly fee. Trials and demos are available for software and games to try out before considering purchasing. Bear in mind that consuming such media is not a necessity, it is a luxury, something that many people take for granted. So, if you enjoy your movies, music, and media, do remember to support the people who help to make them a reality.